yes, yo, you know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 190. Four. Four. <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> it's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken. Of course, and as always, we're talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I got to say super thank you guys to Ed, Chris, and Tim. You guys don't understand what's going on. I'm in Germany. And That's right. I, I was not going to do the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something got jacked up with the venue. They were going to pick seven of us up, take us to the venue. I was going to set up at the venue, do the show. They send uh, a car that sat four people. <laughs> they send a smart car. <laughs> for seven people. And I was like, what is going on? And uh, and they're like, oh, man, we can't take anybody. So that we can't take everybody. And so, like, obviously, I'm the least important to the show. Oh. And so, you know, our show oh, that we're yeah. doing tonight. Oh. And so me and the merch girl had to stay behind. And oh, so wow. um, we stayed behind and they were like, hey, they can't send another car. You guys are going to have to wait till 12, which so 12 our time was going to be five o'clock central time. That's what time we were going to try to do the show. So I want to put me to getting to the venue till like 1245. It had been 345. Then I don't know if I would have been able to set up and do the show. I sent a text to these guys like, hey, for when they woke up, hey, can't do the show today. I'm super bummed. I can't believe it. And they all text back awake. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, like, we're here for you, brother. Yeah, we're like, well, want to try to do it right quick. So I'll probably have to jump off at some point. But I just wanted to be here, say thank you to my brothers. I cannot believe it that everybody's That's here. Awesome, I man. barely have anything prepared, so I'm just going to be steering this big old ship, and I'm so glad that I have uh, these guys to back me up. So uh, that's my week update, Tim Router. By the way, you're not the least important person in that band, man. You've I know, been, right? You've been with them for how many exactly. years? <laughs> yeah, a little bit over 14. How far is the How far is the venue from the hotel? So the venue from the hotel is 40 minutes because they moved ah. us hotels at the last minute. Mm. And so, you know, it's just like breakdown of communication. The guy came and was like, oh, I thought I was only picking up one person. They were like, no, you're picking up seven people. <laughs> wow. I thought you were and just so, going to be on the back of my bicycle that I just brought over. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So when I say least important, it was like what I mean by that is like the, it's the crew who needed to go. over. Oh, so sure. the band's mm. not going over till later, but I was going to go over early with the crew. So when it comes to setting up the stage, I'd have been there like plug the what into the what now. <laughs> and so, uh, so, uh, so give us the rest of your week, man. You're in Germany. Um, tell us about the trip over. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, what did you end so, up playing on the, on the plane? I'm dying to know like what you did. You on know, the plane. it's funny. I was going to, I sat next to, uh, not right next to, but there was a guy, uh, Two seats down from me playing his PS uh, his PS Vita. I was like, yeah, oh, man. Look at that. Nice. There you go. And so I didn't end up getting any internet and I ended up sitting next to a chatty Kathy. And so, uh, or a chatty Kevin. It was a guy. <laughs> chatty and, Kevin. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so he just talked a whole bunch. And so we ended up talking. I ended up watching, um, the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials. Okay. Which was. Go. <laughs> an okay movie yeah <laughs> at best and then that, i got really a tired movie definitely <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly and then i put on concussion and fell asleep nice woke back up so by the time i woke back up after the movie there was only like two hours left ended up eating stretching i ended up not playing anything wow and so uh that was a little weird because i had like all kind of plans so maybe on the way home but uh ended up sleeping got stuck in munich because um our flight was late, so we missed our connecting flight. Oh. And then uh, mm. that's what the that that picture was from. Great picture, right? And uh, so just sat there and and uh, got on the next flight. And then the the hard part was staying up yesterday because mm. you know we get here and land at like one in the afternoon, and you're exhausted because you've gone two days with about two hours of sleep. I only slept during the concussion movie. And so, um, <laughs> that's so <laughs> ironically wonderful. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because at first I was like, all right, I need to get some sleep. And so I put on ride along Two was one of the movies that was available. <laughs> to. Oh, nice. But it was just like, you know, it starts with like this hip hop song. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, Oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep during this. <laughs> and so that's why I put on concussion. I was like, I can fall asleep to Will Smith doing a South African accent. Yep. And so, um, <laughs> fell asleep during that and so you're just exhausted so you're just trying to find stuff to keep you awake and so mm. we went and got some ramen uh, nice. some ramen noodles because there was like a, a 
Japanese place here, and that it was delicious. And then we went to the oldest brew house here in Dumbledore, I think is where we all actually are. And uh, which I feel like every time I say that, I feel like I'm in like Dumbledore. Harry Potter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, Wait, it's, like, not, like I, it's not Dusseldorf, is it? it no, it's actually du- Dusseldorf. It's not it, it, like uh, Dumbledore. Oh, okay. But it's Dumbledorf. <laughs> we'll it's, call it, it Dumbledore. Yeah, it's, 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 du- it's Dusseldorf. Yeah, Dusseldorf, mm. yeah. Dusseldorf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dusseldorf. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, man, it's been it's been a whirlwind. That's crazy. So you've got to say the least. You've got the lifted pop festival tonight. Is that the deal? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't barely know where I'm at. <laughs> well, I can tell you because yeah. I, I was I was going to tell everybody where you were based on Toby's site that you're you're doing the the lifted Das Erf pop festival tonight. Okay. And then t- right. tomorrow you're in Ludwigsburg for the Himmelfart Festival, which is oh, a yeah. yes. god-awful yep. name for a festival. <laughs> I've got the case of the Himmelfarts. <laughs> of all the times I've mentioned Toby on Twitter, that's the one he responded to. Of course. <laughs> of course. And then Friday you're at Springtime Festival in Frauenfeld. So, uh, yeah, man, you got a full plate. Yep. And then, the, uh, and then P- Big Church Day Out in England the next day. Wow. Yeah, man. That's, and then we have ooh. a day off in London. Oh, and I'm so, so very jealous. Nice. That's, that'll be a good day. And so, uh, so jealous. I love London, man. Yeah. That's, that's it for me, man. We're, we're running and gunning. So you guys oh. take it away. Remy's still here. <laughs> as far as Remy, you know. I, Remy's still there. <laughs> yeah. As far as I know, <laughs> I didn't get to there. talk to Jenny last night because when I was going to sleep, she was taking a nap. Yeah. And so, sure. you know, mm-hmm. I'm going to sleep at, you know, I think it was almost midnight. It was five o'clock. No. I went to bed at like 11 something. You're seven hours ahead, right? Right We're seven hours ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, man. That is insane. Well, I'm glad you guys made it safe. And despite the delays, you're you're where you need to be, which is great. Exactly. And and I'm glad I got to make the show. I cannot believe I'm on the show right now. I'm so glad you you made the show. This feels crazy. We make it happen, (laughs) man. We make it happen for you. I cannot believe that. Like the fact that everybody was awake is insane to me. It was meant to be. It was. It must have been because Ed said he hasn't been to sleep yet. Router woke up super early, and then Chris always wakes up this early on podcast days. So this is like the fact that, you know, I roll out of bed 15 minutes before we do the podcast. <laughs> that's right. you do. And that's why Chris always sounds so fresh-faced, and I'm always like, <laughs> yes, yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, it, it's awesome. It all worked out. It's killing me that I'll be... Uh, I won't be able to do it next week because uh, we'll be on the but cruise. But you won't have any internet. Like, yeah, exactly. We would wake up at whatever be... time to make it happen for you, but you just won't have any internet. Yeah, I just week, won't right? have. Yeah, I won't have any decent connections. So mm-hmm. it'd be crazy. Well, that's good, man. I'm glad. I'm glad everything's it, at least going well. And exactly. Hopefully, it'll be all good. Mm-hmm. Router, what you been doing? Oh man, uh, working. I've got so much stuff to do between we leave Friday and, uh, everybody's just piling the work on. Mm. So I'm just going to be up for the next couple days. I'm just going to take little power naps here and there, but I've got to finish some stuff before I leave. Cause it's, it's killing me. And, right. um, but so that's pretty much what I've been doing, but this past weekend was great. Um, let's start with Piper's topic of the week. Yeah. Oh, hit us. Pretty fitting for me. Dolphins and sharks. Let's do this. Oh. Dolphins and sharks. <laughs> Dolphins and you had sharks. me, then you lost me. It's like oil and vinegar. Kind of <laughs> totally different species. But she's been uh, she's been really excited for the cruise. Um, but uh, yeah, man, dolphins don't like sharks. Sharks don't like dolphins. I think that's pretty much how it goes. Yeah, I don't think they. Uh, I don't think they mess with each other much. No, they don't. And in fact, and a dolphin can in fact kill a shark. Yeah, that, that's yep. right. And vice versa. I think they said. I think they said dolphins have the most, uh, co- um, like most complicated language in the ocean world. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. I've heard that too. When we were down in Atlanta at the aquarium, they have like uh, over, I think, twelve or thirteen dolphins there, and it's just so cool to watch them. Like we <laughs> we were there, and the dolphins would come up right by the glass. You put your hand out, they'd follow the hand. It was just really, no really wow. cool. They were like. And of course, they're already very well trained anyway for all the shows and stuff. So they're, it was really fun to, to watch them and see. And uh, yeah, they're really cool. And sharks are frightening for poor Ed. <laughs> <laughs> In the early 90s, my sister got a tattoo of a dolphin on her foot, and I never let her forget that. 
Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. How's that tattoo on your foot? Yeah. How's, that, uh, how's that dolphin from the 90s working out for you, huh? <laughs> is, it, is it one dolphin or is it two dolphins in a circle? It's one dolphin jumping out of the water. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Yeah. So I'm, I'm surprised she doesn't have barbed wire around her, uh, around her <laughs> bicep. <laughs> so anytime she does something and makes fun of you, you just walk, walk over, take her shoe off, and point. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember this. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so thank you, Piper, for our topic of the week. That's always great. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. This poor girl has an ear infection again. No. It's an, oh, no this, this time it's an outer ear infection. So the swim um, lessons. How does that work? Well, the swim lessons that we she essentially has swimmer's ear. Oh, so okay. this poor girl oh, right. has very she has very she has a very tiny ear canals. So she she gets very prone to ear infections, which is why we had tubes put in about a year mm. and a, year and a half ago. Mm. When the tubes when the tubes were in, she was never sick ever. Right. Tubes are the tubes are coming out now. In fact, the tubes are just out and just floating, not floating, but they're just out there and they need to come out. And uh, the week we come back from vacation, that's actually going to have to happen. But we're also going to talk to our ENT. She may have to go back and do tubes again, which is fairly uncommon for four, four-year-olds to do. But I just think she has such tiny, a tiny ear canal that it's very easy. It can be very easily infected. So mm, what right. happened was uh, every day of swim class this past week, somehow some gunk got in her ear or what have you. And so she has an outer ear infection. So it doesn't affect the eardrum or anything, but it, it's actually just as painful as a regular ear infection. So wow. the cure is not an antibiotic because it's just an, an inflammation. It is drops. So she actually hates the drops, but I have to put it in and, uh, you know, two times a day. And I'm, oh, try, I'm tr- trying to get it all cleaned up because she can't go in the pool or anything until the ear doesn't hurt anymore. So I've been trying oh, to, I've been tr- yeah, so thankfully we went to the, she was complaining about it over the weekend. So Lauren and I were like, all right, on Monday, I, I called the doctor first thing and they were able to fit her in. And so fortunately we actually got it early and, um, they said like four to five days it should be gone. So we're on mm. our, you know, two and a half. So hopefully by, I mean, we're not, we're going on vacation Friday you know, she wouldn't necessarily be in the pool until possibly Saturday or probably more closer to Sunday. So hopefully by then it'll be cleared up because I would I would mm. hate that for her that she's in that position in that position and can't. Exactly. Yeah. Can't wow. There. So that's that. Lauren's still getting over her ear infection that she had. Oh, so I, I got my family's infected except for me. I'm just waiting for the ball to drop on my <laughs> end. Where toe up. Yeah. yeah right? Something's, <laughs> something's going to happen to me. So I don't know. But um, seasickness. No, I'll be, I'll be good, but it's kind of funny. I, I, ch- I did check the weather, and there are some storms off the, off the oh, Atlantic yes. right now. So I'm like, no well, freaking well, way. This might, this, might be, this might be sandy, too. But no, I think it's actually, uh, we're doing a Western Caribbean cruise this time. So we, uh, we leave on Saturday. We're, we're going on the Fantasy, which is uh, one of Disney's uh, big ships. And uh, we basically are kind of doing a loop. We're going over to Cozumel first. Grand Cayman, then Jamaica, and then uh, and then kind of loop around. So we're on the Western Caribbean. So I think everything, if anything, is starting to form. Which, by the way, June first starts hurricane season. There you go. <laughs> uh, wow. You know, it will probably form uh, east of us. So we should be in the clear. But you never know. I still, I'll still bring Bonnie. And I, I, I've got a nice little chewable tablet. Tablet that got me through Sandy. Yeah. Uh, but I'm like, bring it on, man. I've, I've been through. I've been through way worse now, so if you know if this is is nice and calm, I'll be happy, and uh, it'll it'll be great. I'm looking forward to it. We haven't had a a family uh, trip with uh, Lauren's parents and brother and sister in law uh, in a while, so it'll be good for all of us just to be. It's been at least again. three four months, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> well, that's, no, that's my that's my side of the family, but yeah. now now it's her side of the family, which is great, and and everybody's so busy, and it's nice to to get everybody together. Good, um, man. Freaking Sean Capri at We the Gamer Cast. Yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah, how did that go? It was awesome. Fantastic. I could have talked to him for like the entire night. We uh, he was really great when I had complained that Gabe gets all the glory with all the podcasts and stuff. <laughs> Joke, jokingly, of course. The ne- almost the next day he's like 
he uh, DM'd us and said, hey, Tim, I, uh, I'd love to have you on our podcast. Uh, we'll set up a time. And so uh, about a, a few weeks went by, but, you know, we were texting back and forth. And then he's like, hey, can you do Saturday night? And I said, sure, no problem. So I hopped in the car again on uh, Saturday <laughs> yeah. night. And we just we were just talking, man. It was so much fun. And uh, a big shout out to We The Gamer Cast and to Sean mm-hmm. Capri. Um, we just had so much fun. Just And it was his format is we just talk. And we talk about whatever, and it was nice. it was great, and we had a uh, we had such a good time. So uh, thank you so much for that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, man, just just prepping, getting ready. Uh, on the gaming side, I have finished Uncharted Four. I did that on nice. Saturday. Nice. And I haven't played anything since. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we should probably be able to do a, a spoiler cast the week you come back. From, that would be awesome. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you, very nice. When, when you get back from Germany and while I'm gone, finish up Uncharted 4 because I think you're the only one left that has to finish it. Yep. I and, will do. And it. then, yeah, let's next week, let's do uh, that That following week, let's do spoiler cast. And then we got E3, man. Holy cow. E3 is going to be around the corner. Man. Come on, baby. I can't come wait. On. So, uh, so yeah, I've just been playing Uncharted. I, I finished Uncharted 4, and then I played Clash Royale on Friday night till 4 o'clock in the morning for some reason. <laughs> wow. I have no idea why. And guess what? I got pretty much nowhere. I went up, down, up, and down. Like, Dang it. My levels wow. were just... I was, I was experimenting with so many different decks that it was just like, well, let's try this. No, that didn't work out. I lost three in a row. And, uh, but I'm finally back in the groove, and uh, I'm just obsessed with that game. And uh, and that's it for me. Great. Yep. Uh, Ed. Yes, sir. What's going down? You know what? It's been nice. Usually, Sarah and I have pretty uh, pretty chill weekends. We just kind of stay in the house and and kind of uh, relax and and don't do much. But this weekend, it was so nice here in Pennsylvania that we uh, we walked downtown pretty much all weekend and just kind of hung out downtown. Went to the coffee shop and walked around and it was beautiful. Just kind of like a. It was really nice. Yeah, just kind of like a a weekend long date night. It was really nice. Uh, Great, just kind man. of a yeah, nice time on the town and and uh Lancaster's a good city to to just chill in and uh and walk around and take in the sights and stuff. It's been pretty cool. Um nice. Gaming wise, uh you guys have the Clash Royale. I've got that freaking gummy drop which is that <laughs> bejeweled slash candy crush and yeah, I, I meant to bring this up a few weeks ago because i usually play it before i go to bed and there's a phrase like when when you drop and match a lot of colors you know the 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 voiceover is you know wonderful monumental world famous what? and one of the one of the phrases that she says if, if something big happens she goes weekend is that a fr- <laughs> what is that a phrase people say for something good is that a millennial phrase? I've never heard that what, before. I've never. What is weekend? I've never mean? heard that either. That's got to be a bad translation. Well, and what's funny is I remember uh, about six months ago uh, doing voiceover auditions, and one of them was for a game, and you had to say weekend. And I remember thinking, I don't know how to say this as an exclamation. <laughs> <laughs> weekend. Yeah, I'd never heard uh, that before. Interesting. Okay. That is really funny. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a regional thing or if... Like, it, it'd make more sense to me if you went, church! Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's so weird. So weird. I, it, it yeah, just I've must, never heard of that. Yeah, I've never heard of that. I, yeah. I kind of understand the context of it, maybe, but not as an exclamation. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Especially for an accomplishment. Exactly. Right, right. But, Bill, you had great sales last week. Weekend! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta start def- using that. I can't. That say definitely that feels like now. a Japanese a Japanese uh, translation that went wrong. I wondered that too. I was like, do people think this is what Americans say? But you need uh, to write to them and say, actually, what you should have is adventure. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Adventure. <laughs> that would make much more sense. Yeah, it would. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I played uh, Firewatch, which I really enjoyed. Um, awesome. I had watched Chris's walkthrough on the. Uh, mttg youtube channel but even though i'd watched the chris's entire walkthrough it did not take away from my experience at all it was just such a cool game to just sit down and and let happen around you and to you it was a lot of fun yeah i enjoyed Um, it nice picked up counter spy which i'd never heard of before that's a good game i loved it 
That's so fun. much. I fun. almost did that one for the channel. It it is fun. I, I, I've only played a couple levels, but it's it's a good time. The art style with that retro '60s spy feel to yes. it. It's just yeah. and, oh, and cool. the fact that you have to do stealth so much. Uh, mm-hmm. so much fun. And it's kind of cool how it switches perspective, like from yeah, like a a two D, and then kind of a not first person, but kind of like an over the shoulder straightforward look something like that yeah right? every time you like hide behind something it kind of yeah. changes angles on you and it's really That's cool. cool and then uh last night around 11 i started playing teenage mutant ninja turtles yeah. mutants is that in good Manhattan. i was thinking about getting it you know i don't know anything about the turtles i don't know what? if i i never watched it um uh, i i knew that they were named after renaissance painters and that was about that's it that's all you knew yeah, that, that's pretty Come much on, man. I, you're a child of the 80s like me, and you would have known that. You, did, you never watched it growing up? My brother did. So I remember hearing Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Yeah. But that's all I know. Wow. <laughs> that's um, hilarious. It's a pretty fun game. There are a ton of controls. Oh, and wow. I'm basically just using punch and jump. Nice. And, <laughs> and uh, you, you go through the tutorial, and I'm like, I'm not going to remember this. Yep, and right. so I don't know how far I'll get into it because I'm only using two buttons, but uh, we'll see what happens. Well, here's the most important question. Funny. Which turtle are you playing as? I'm playing as the one with the big stick. Donatello. 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 The purple That's one. Yeah. favorite. That was Sarah's favorite. That's why I picked that one. That would be the bow. Yep. The what? That's not the, the big stick. The weapon is called a bow staff. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> or AKA the big stick. I, know. I like the big stick personally. <laughs> his, his walking stick. That's right. That is awesome. That's funny. But uh, that's, that was pretty much uh, my, my week. There you go. McCracken. Uh, my week's been pretty boring. I just work as work. Uh, picking back up again. We got done with a bunch of post-production stuff. So we're back into shooting new things. If you guys have ever or ever had the opportunity to work with time lapse or not time lapse, excuse me, uh, stop motion animation, it takes oh, a wow. long time. Yes. So, yeah, it does. So, yes, it does. And then the post production is a lot more because you got to go and edit all the photos and blah, blah, blah. But it's, right. so, it's a fun thing. So we're working on a project that at work right now. Um, over the weekend, all I did was this is Stacy's last weekend to not be here. She comes in actually today. Uh, she's oh, supposed awesome. to fly in around two. Very nice. Beautiful. Uh, so I just played games. Didn't really do much nice. else. <laughs> nice. Well done, sir. Well done. Yep. That's pretty Amen. much all that I did uh, in and around, you know, chores and finishing up. So Stacy, whenever she leaves, because she knows me and she knows I'll just sit around and play video games. <laughs> she makes a list of things like, hey, it'd be awesome if you get these things done while I'm gone. Ah, and, nice. And, you know, I can say this because she knows this is the truth. I pretty much just wait till the last weekend. Now, of course you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Why would you do it earlier why? than that? Just to mess it back up and have to do it again. I don't exactly. Know. I don't know. She doesn't understand that either. She's like, why would you? Because it makes sense. So I, I did take care of my few things I had to do. Like, I'm saying, why would you do it earlier than the yeah, last just weekend? Do it. Like, yeah, you would do it at the last minute. <laughs> her, her logic is like, well, here, spread it out, you know, over the week. And I'm like, forget that. I'm going to yeah. do it last minute. <laughs> that is awesome. I can do a panic clean in an hour. So I did, exactly. I did my few chores that I had to do and then got those out of the game and then played video games the rest of the time. There you go. Nice. I like it. Uh, as far as what games I've been playing, uh, I played Doom. Oh, yeah. I've got yeah, yeah, about man. four episodes on the Married to the Games channel. I've got two, one and a half sessions. I still need to finish editing and get up there. So that will be coming. Um, taking a little bit of a break of it. Break with it. It's... It's not grabbing me. Uh-oh. And I want to I make really? this very clear. I want to make this very clear to everybody. It is a good game. I totally recommend it. It looks great. It plays well. It's smooth. I've not had a single performance issue with it. It's an hmm. awesome game. But something about it, I just don't find myself going, man, I really need to jump back into Doom. Is it the hmm. pace? Mm. I, don't, I don't know, because I played the original Doom, and I really liked it. Granted, that was a long, long time ago. Sure, but, sure. Yeah. And groundbreaking at the time. I've seen that, and the pace just, uh, that's enough to be like, no, I, I don't need to start going all in within the first two seconds of playing, and then, you know, get swarmed or what, like, that would just stress me out. So the, the pace alone is probably preventing me from ever playing that game. Wow. The only thing about it that I'm a little bit so-so on, but I understand why they're doing it, is that... There's a lot of different paths to go. So basically you go to a new level, let's call it. You can kill everything. And then once you've killed pretty much everything, you can just roam around for, you know, by yourself. You don't have to really worry about anything else showing back up. 
But there's all mm. these areas like you have to go find a key card and then you have to go open this door and then you have to find another thing and you have to right. find all the pathways mm. and get it all figured out. And it's not always obvious. And so I'm spending a lot of time figuring out what to do next because there's no real clues a lot of times. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. But that's how old Doom was. And I know that that's the, what they were going for. So that's not a problem. It's just to me because I'm, I haven't played a game like that in so long because most games aren't like that anymore. They're much more handholdy. I'm just kind of like, man, mm. I, what am I supposed to do? I'm banging my head against the wall. Mm. But that's that's not why I I really don't know what the reason is. I can't put my finger on it. There's just something about it that's not like it doesn't have it hooks in me yet. I got you. But mm. but I totally get why people are loving it, and I, I would totally recommend it. It is a good game. It's worth the price. It's great. There you go. Nice. Um, nice. Played a little bit more on Metal Gear Solid Five. Unfortunately, I didn't earn a trophy, even though I spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> I hate that. That's the worst. I, I'm chipping away. There's this one trophy where you have to develop. You can develop these items throughout the game, and you have to develop 300 items. And on the PlayStation side, like on the trophies, it doesn't track how far along you are, and there's no system oh, in the game that lets me know. Oh, so I'm right. just spending all my in-game currency developing these things, and then, then when they all get done, I go and look, and I haven't got, you know, trophy never pops, so I go develop more, and I'm like running out of money, and then I'm having to do missions to earn more money to make more things. Oh, man, yeah, that's so it, a grind. It's, yeah, it's Jeez. a bit of a treadmill at the moment, but... I'm still having fun with the game. Good. Uh, Good. And then last night, or actually Monday evening, uh, my copy of Overwatch unlocked, and I've been playing Overwatch Monday night, and I played a little bit last night before I went to bed, and I love that game. It's awesome. You're loving it. I I am totally loving this game. I can can see myself (laughs) sinking so many hours into this game, and I get it's not for everybody. I totally get that, but man, it just looks great. It plays great. It has so many incentives to make me want to keep playing that are specific to me. I just love wow. it. It's an awesome game. Are you stay, staying with a cowboy? I, I, I've I played him a little bit. I'm really bad with McCree, the cowboy, but he's fun to play. Yeah. I did. Nice. I did. I got one of the, like during the entire beta, they have these things where at the end of each match, there's a play of the game where everybody in the lobby sees the play of the game. And it could be on offense, defense. It doesn't really matter. It just had to be a really cool play. And I, I told my friend that I was playing with uh, Kale file, file Under Action. And I said, hey, you know, I never got one of those during the beta. And literally that game, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Nice. The nice. And then well another played. one after that. And then last night I got a couple more. I was like, huh, look at me. I don't know Ooh, if I'm man. getting any better, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, the play of the game. You know, it's funny. Last night when we, were, we went to this pub after we, went, when we, after we got ramen. And it was the oldest pub in Dusseldorf, and, uh, which was kind of cool. Uh, but there was a guy at another table, and he had an Overwatch shirt on. Nice. And it took everything in me not wow. to like walk up to him and say something like, "Like, how interesting was it that he's wearing the shirt on the day it released?" And I was like, "Is he just a big gamer? Did he work on the game?" Yeah, but I couldn't work up. Oh, you should have. I couldn't work up the nerve, uh, man. Dude. Do you know what color his shirt was? Was it? I mean, it was black. Oh, okay. And it said Overwatch, like kind of you know on the higher on the back, and then it had a big something on the front but i was like oh cool dang and then i was trying to look like and see if his jacket maybe had something on it like the developer's name or anything but yeah it didn't and i didn't you know and then the, there's the language barrier i didn't feel like being like your shirt did you th- your shirt you like that game <laughs> and so you know because there's so much like everybody knows english here it's not that people you know they have to learn it in school like mm-hmm. they have to take five years of it yeah. actually oh, wow. um early in school like i think starting at like age 12 or something like that mm. so everybody knows it but not everybody knows it well, you know, it's just yeah. like anything yeah. you would have taken, you know, in middle school um, and maybe didn't have to use again. But uh, that, so I just didn't feel like fighting through that. And then there was like, we were trying to get out of there. And so it was like a lot of was going on, but right. it kind of perked me up for a minute. I was like, Oh snap. He's got an overwatch shirt on today. You know? <laughs> That's really so, cool. Yeah. So it was really cool. Is that it for you, McCracken? That's it for me. Nice. Well, uh, router, you got it. I got it, brother. <laughs> well, let's do it. All right, new releases this week, as Mr. McCracken said, Overwatch or- Origins Ooh. Edition, PC, PS4, Xbox One is out. Go mm-hmm. get you some. Uh, to- and for you PC gamers, Total War Warhammer is out for this week. Huh. And then uh, along with Mr. Placencia, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan, Xbox One, there you go. 360, mm-hmm. PS4, mm-hmm. PS3, and P- PC. 
uh, for the Xbox One, uh, Xbox One looks like they've got just a few uh, exclusive releases this week too. Tropico Five Penultimate Edition for the Xbox One is out. Uh, Ali Ali Two XL Edition for the Xbox and One. Tropico Five is not exclusive. I don't think it's not. Yeah, that's the that's the free one on PlayStation this month. I think. Oh, it yeah, is. It's, oh, okay. It's PS Plus. I don't mm-hmm. know why games. Maybe games, it's just coming out for the Xbox yeah, One. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's coming oh, I out. I don't it. know. They always like. They never say whether or not it's like exclusive or it's just because that it'll just say what it released for yeah, that week kind of yeah, yeah yeah so that's cool so Ali Ali 2 XL edition is coming out for the Xbox 1 not a That's he- a fun game. Yeah, you played that, didn't you? Yeah, I played the first one on Vita. Nice. Uh not a Hero Super Snazzy edition for the Xbox 1. <laughs> and for the 3DS and Wii U Dragon Fantasy the Black Tome of Ice. Oh. There you go. That sounds like a Dragon Fantasy. Yeah, so it sounds like it. It sounds like a Dragon Fantasy. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be number one on the charts next week. Which, of course, we don't have. They didn't uh, post. They didn't post new charts this week yet. It's uh, all good because it's four o'clock in the morning, probably, and they usually have a. <laughs> they, pro- they probably set a, a time, uh, maybe throughout this, uh, to release their best guesses. Yeah, to release their <laughs> right. Well, let's see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go from there. But we do have That's a few. Funny. We do have a few oops. Mm. And, uh. and w- one of them, I must say, is an oops from a listener who basically oops themselves. Mr. Scott Baker at Scottish ba- Scottish. Oh, this Bakery. is so great! I know. I right? saw this. He says, um, <laughs> "Hashtag MTTG oops." Gabe and Chris said chicken and waffles are amazing. I doubted them. Sorry, everyone. I was wrong. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so great. That's right. Nice. It's delicious. Welcome to the right side of the fence. It, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> it, take, it takes a lot to admit that you were wrong, and we go. appreciate that's it. Right. And yes, chicken and waffles are freaking amazing. Yeah. Continue having some artery clogging fun. Yeah, yeah I right. told him on Twitter, I said, it takes a big man to admit when they're wrong. And that's funny, too, because he's a big man. <laughs> he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. Nice. Uh, at the Dark Legend, Zach Ald, Ed and Chris must have been mistaken when they said they are done with the at The Walking Dead. Pretty sure that's the biggest MTTG oops. <laughs> I very much agree with them on, with him on that. I don't think you should. I think you should get, keep going and give it another shot because you never know what happens for season seven. No, actually, I wasn't mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you have conviction, man. That's all. That <laughs> exactly right. Stand where you, you are, stand. You are, you are standing firm. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I will queue it up on Netflix and just see out of at least curiosity. Was I wrong? But I'm not in any hurry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There you go. There you go. And only time will tell now because they won't have another one until like they won't. The next season will start in October, so yeah. we've got all kinds of time to argue over it later. Um, <laughs> this one's all me, Derek at I am Putty. I hate to call out our Assassin's Creed guy, but it's AC Revelations, not Revolution. Sorry, t- Tiger Claw. Mm. Uh, hashtag MTTG. Ah, Oops. Yep, yeah, that's just me. I screw up names all the time. Um, <laughs> I, I like I like AC revolutions. I did, I did <laughs> yeah, right. going around something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. A wild goose chase. Um, That's funny. At Arctic Warlocks, MTT, hashtag MTTG. Oops, poor Ed had a rough time with the ending of the park. He stated that his game was dumb twelve times, but really only said it eight times. Now we're just getting technical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, tat there. Seriously, now we're getting technical. The fact I like it. Yeah, that was. Good, I love though. that he counted. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's really really awesome um funny. and and then scotty Lindsay, our teacher as always uh the german city cologne is actually pronounced cone there's no c- cone yeah, it's col- cone. yeah cone. there's no c in german hashtag sorry i'm a teacher and then he sends us an uh youtube video of different uh how to pronounce how to, yeah pronunciations which i thought you was know what's awesome. interesting about it is that i sat next to a german guy on the way and he said where are you headed and i was like well I said, we say Cologne. And he was like, he was like, oh yeah, Cologne, Germany. And I was like, oh, so I guess maybe some people still pronounce it that way. Cause we definitely I, spell it the wrong way. They spell it K O L N. Yep. Uh, and then in America, obviously we spell it the way, yeah, you know, it's one it of sounds. those, I think it goes either way. They, they know what you're talking about basically. Yeah. So a German guy, yeah. Said Cologne as well. And I thought that was really interesting. I was like, huh? Ha Scotty. So maybe it's not a oops. <laughs> Take that. So you get a uh, double oops one. now. Does Scotty also say Mexico and España instead? <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's great. We're only busting on you because you're a teacher, brother. That's all. It's all good. We love you. We love you. That's awesome. Hey, one last thing before we move on from the oops. Are we sure we're not on 193? Because that's what I show. That's what I thought, too. And then when he said four, I was like, well, it must be four because I don't have my computer I just want to keep us from an oops or I want to rename my file. (laughs) I thought it was 193, too. Let me look. You're right. It's 193. Yes. We avoided oh, an oops. We avoided an oops. No, I mean, somebody's probably already oopsing us right now. Like, well, they can, they <laughs> yeah. can untype it. You can backwards type. <laughs> We're a half hour what? in. We've got the oops already. Oh, we already <laughs> had the oops. <laughs> it didn't, doesn't take long, brother. It doesn't take long. It really doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you're right. One, good call, Chris. 193. There it is. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Good job, Chris. That's what I thought, too. I just figured I was wrong. Oh, that's fun. That's often. Because you've had no sleep and you're across the world. That's right. <laughs> and you're on the other side of the world. Dude, so I could great. not sleep good last night at all. Mm. I was like, what is going on? I stayed up all day. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. It's all uh, good. Chris McCracken. Yes. Give it to us, brother. All right. I want to start with uh, June's Games with Gold. So on the Xbox One, from June 1st to June 30th, you will get Goat Simulator. Oh, nice. And then uh, on June 16th through July 15th, you will get The Crew. Mm-hmm. On Xbox 360 slash Xbox One, because they should be backwards compatible, June 1st through the 15th, you will get Super Meat Boy. Oh, it's a and good game. And June 16th through the 30th, you will get XCOM Enemy Unknown. Ooh, nice. nice. Play that game. Yes. There you go. Go get you some free games. I mean, you pay for them, kind of. I will right? never finish that game ever, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I played a little bit of it, and I'm like, oh, man, one of my best characters died. I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Super wow. Meat Boy is really fun, though. You should definitely play Super Meat Boy if you get It's through. really hard, too. Is it? Yeah, it is hard. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I, I think I did World One on for the YouTube channel, and I was like, all right, before I look like an idiot, I'm going to stop here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Ed. Yeah. Uh, you know, Router didn't have any charts, but we do know that Uncharted 4 is the fastest selling PS4 game ever. Oh, uh, there you go. Sony reports they've sold 2.7 million copies. Awesome. <laughs> and that awesome. is that's a sold through number. And that means it's physical and digital. And it's not the ones that they just got sent to the store and are on the shelves. Wow. So that's, yes, there is a big difference. A lot of times, yeah. even in music, people will inflate the numbers because they'll say we sent this many to the stores and they'll promote that number yeah. sold through numbers would be what we sent to target and then target ended up selling. Yeah, right. Those are actual people have them at their house or on their yes. PS4s right now. As we speak, two that different numbers is huge. And it's cool to know mm-hmm. that it's digital and physical. Cause I know with yeah. the charts, we only get physical. Yeah. And so that's cool to see that both of those combined. Yeah. And that's only yes. the first week too. So right. it could even be higher by now, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's week one. That's, crazy. that's nuts, man. Jeez Louise, they went off this week. I know, right? And you know, when you think about it, there's like 40 million PS4s. It's like, that's not even scratching the surface. There's so many more people that could potentially be buying this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not even 10%. That's crazy. Mm Mm-hmm. Good for that, man. Christopher. Yeah, okay. So Xbox One, if you're in the market for an Xbox One, there's some really awesome deals coming out. So uh, retailers like GameStop and Best Buy, they've launched a deal it goes now through May 28th, so you got to get on it if you want it. Uh, but you can get a free game of your choosing whenever you pick up a console. Now, there's a few caveats that I'm going to explain. Uh, it can't be a used console, so no secondhand ones like at Best Buy. I don't, or, excuse me, GameStop. I don't think Best Buy sells used consoles, do they? I know they sell used I games. I don't think so. They so. use games, but I don't know yeah, about consoles. So as long as you buy a new console, you can get a free game. And the game has to be $60 or less. You can't get, like, a special edition. But you basically mm-hmm. just have your pick of the mill. Any game that wow. is $60 and less, you can just throw in for buying an Xbox One. So if you're looking in, if you're in the market for one, you might as well go get one. Right. Wait, but how much is it? Because it seems like they've been bundling like three games with them lately. Uh, I don't know. This article doesn't list a price. Oh, okay. Moment. It's just saying go buy a new Xbox One and you yeah, can pick whatever game you want for free. Mm-hmm. So it's just it's a prom- yeah, it's just a promotion is not as much a bundle as it is yeah. just a promotion. Got gotcha. you. So what game would you get if you didn't have an Xbox One and you were going to go get one this week? What what game would you pick up? If it were me, mm. I would pick up I would pick up one of the exclusives. It would be like either Quantum Break or yeah, yeah, maybe that's what the I was thinking. the, uh, the uh, Halo. If you don't already, ha- well, I guess you don't have that if you don't have an Xbox One. <laughs> Uh, it'd be one of the exclusive games. I mean, that makes the most sense to me. Sure, sure. Yeah, it, 
I guess so. The thing that's hard for me is like, I just want to bundle a good game. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, if, you know, even if it's a. Uh, like Rise of the know. Tomb Raider I, would be great. Yeah, I was going to say Rise of the Tomb Raider, even though that's not going to stay ex- exclusive. Right. But, it's you know, it is right now. Right. And uh, or it was was Metal Gear over there, too? Yes, it was. It was. Yeah. So, like, you know, I mean, people love that game. And so e- even if you picked it up just to, you know, have Metal Gear on it. And also, if you're getting one because a bunch of your friends have one, you might want to get whatever game they're all playing. So like, yep, if they have Halo right. or if they have The Division, that yep, might be exactly. a better yeah. choice because then you can just jump right in with your friends. Yep. Yeah, don't get Destiny, though. You can get that for cheap. Right? You'd yeah, be wasting, <laughs> wasting, wasting a... Yeah, it's crazy because the deal true. says you can get any game $60 or less. It's like, I'm going to get a $60 game. I'm going like, yeah, to really? eat it. There's no or less. It's just 60 <laughs> flat. Boom, let's do this. Yeah, why would I get anything less? Exactly. For sure. I'll take the Xbox One and Pinball. Yes. <laughs> Zen Pinball. Zen Pinball. <laughs> Ms. Pac-Man, that old gem. That's gym. right. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Edward, you got something else? Yeah. Uh, since G4 is no longer uh, around, YouTube is kind of stepping up, and they will be launching an E3 streaming hub. Awesome. And uh, oh. they will be uh, broadcasting live streams from Sony, Microsoft, EA, and more. Awesome. And uh, the coverage begins Sunday, June 12th, and runs throughout the course of the week. That's great, because, I mean, it's it was Twitch most of the time, and actually it was, uh, I used to watch it on Game Trailers. Yeah. Uh, dot com, too. But now YouTube's embracing it, so that's even better. Yeah. Interesting. I've always watched it on GameSpot. That's always been the place that oh, I've really? gone to. to that's watch where I went the, as well. All the stuff, yeah. Where did you go, Chris? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was reading from he my next story. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Caught with his pants down. Uh, no, well, actually, I'm not wearing pants because there's no Stacy here. I'm in my hey. underwear. <laughs> that's beautiful. And those chicken wings. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no wings, just, just no pants. That's great. Yeah. All right. We're good. Yeah. No pants, wings. Um, Chris, where do you watch uh, your press conferences for the E3? Like as far as it's, if it's on my TV or something? Do you watch them? You know, like where would you watch? Yeah. Would you watch like the Sony press conference and the Microsoft one? Yeah. Uh, the Sony one, the last couple times I've watched, usually it's on my iPad. I think the last one I may have watched on my TV because Stacy wasn't watching anything because that one's in the evening. It's much easier to do. Yeah. The Microsoft mm-hmm. one, it's usually hit or miss if I get to see it or not because it's usually in the middle of a work day. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes I can throw up a window and just let it stream and listen to it while I'm doing something else. But if I'm editing anything with audio, I can't really have it running. So yeah, I, yeah, I usually yeah. just have to backtrack and look at all the news articles on the Microsoft one. Oh man, I can't wait to take the day off <laughs> and watch. <laughs> I, I do that. Oh, every, right. I do that every year. In fact, I was watching part of the Microsoft press conference while I'm at the pediatrician's uh, office for Piper. I forget what it was. It must have been Very an, nice. ear, an ear infection or something. But I'm watching it because they they were taking their time for the doctor to come in i'm like okay i just gotta see a little bit more of what, what they're revealing and then he came in i had to shut it off it was really bad do, That's the, awesome. do the press conferences start a day earlier this yeah year? they are this year it's weird they're, so they're, they're, they're sunday. On sunday they're sundays yeah, so. so that'll be that's actually kind of cool so um yeah, they're going to do that. That is really Sunday. weird. I, yeah, I didn't even take that into account. That it's a Sunday yep. instead of a Monday. It's usually yeah, Monday, that- Tuesday. So Sony, uh, Sony will do theirs Monday night now. Wait, you mean Sunday night? No, no, no. Uh, E, I think EA. Uh, Ed, do you have the schedule right there? I thought it was EA. I do not. I think it's Microsoft and EA on Sunday, and then uh, e, uh, no, I'm sorry. No, that's that's normal because Sony always does it on Monday. Sony and Microsoft always do it on Monday. Oh, so who's doing? And then S- E3 starts on Tuesday, Wednesday, right, Thursday. Right, right. So who's doing Sunday then? Oh, um, uh, I could have sworn I saw somebody was doing something on Sunday, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know see. something. Sunday EA is at one o'clock, and at seven o'clock it's Bethsedia. Bethsedia, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so EA and Bethsedia will do Sunday, and then Monday will be Microsoft, U- uh, Microsoft, Ubisoft, Sony, and, yeah. and that's it, right? Uh, and yeah, the PC gaming show. And PC, yeah. Okay, okay, there you go. Oh, interesting. I was hoping nice. it'd all be Sunday so I could watch Microsoft's conference. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dang it. Usually in the morning, yeah. Um, nice, uh, Edward. Yes, sir. You got anything else? Um, nothing too major. Rocket League is the first uh, game to support cross network play between Xbox One and PC. So they finally. Uh, they Did finally, it, is it actually in in tow, like happening right now? Yeah, and actually, they just released the update. 
Awesome. Okay, so we got we got that one. So we got PS4 and PC, and now we have PC and Xbox. Right. We just gotta get P- PS4 and Xbox. That's all we need. Come on, baby. That's right. And throw in mobile. You see a little guy on his phone. Oh my throw gosh, this mobile. is so crazy. Throw in mobile. <laughs> Touch screen. Yeah, exactly. Right. That <laughs> That's <mobile>. hilarious. <laughs> oh, Christopher, you got anything else? Uh, the last thing that I have is it seems like uh, um, some retailer out in the Middle East, I think their name is MePlay, but they may have leaked the official release date for Titanfall 2. They're saying it's going to be August 30th, 2016. Oh, ho. ho. So mm, what? what? Wow. Yeah, if if that's that the seems case, soon. Wait, it does seem soon, but you know what? That's I feel like that's a good idea because I mean, all those yeah. other shooters are going to be launching in November, like always, yep. the end of October, November. It'd be nice for them to just come out a little bit early, maybe give themselves a little bit of breathing room, give them a yeah. shot, you know, a little head start. Look yeah. for that now on the on the Microsoft uh, press conference. That will be that will probably be one of their highlights of hey, and you can play it in August. Yeah, right. even though it's not a exclusive anymore. Yeah, right. Yep, it's going to be for all platforms: Microsoft, uh, Xbox One, PC, and PS4. I don't think nice. it's coming to last gen this time. It'd be awesome if Sony announces it ahead of time, but they <laughs> right. <laughs> Microsoft <laughs> skips the beat on that one, and then and then <laughs> later on in the day, PlayStation's like, "Sure, we'll take it." Titanfall two coming <laughs> exactly. out in August. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past um, them. Exactly. I like I said, I don't have any news, so I'm just along for the ride. I, and I love just sitting. I almost feel like I'm just listening to the podcast. Well, good. I'm just <laughs> glad you're you're here, man. I think it's awesome. I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe <laughs> how's the, it. So like, cool. How's the weather in Germany right now? Is it still chilly? It's cold, it, yeah. Yeah. Chilly. And it's staying bright. It stayed bright so long last night. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, it was like ten o'clock. We were like, huh. <laughs> so i mean we should be going to bed but right? it's still really light outside it's yeah. interesting so it's been cool and then i get to uh meet up with a uh, old i like some games oh yeah in two yeah, days that's awesome. nice. when i'm in switzerland so you'll see uh pictures and video from that probably and uh that'll be a good time i cannot believe i'm getting to meet somebody outside the country it's just i know right mind-boggling yeah it's MTTG awesome. Worldwide. <laughs> worldwide, for, 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 Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Mr. 305. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Pitbull. Man. Oh, Pit of Bull. It, he's like, I have a love-hate relationship with <laughs> Me Pitbull. too, actually. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like, I, I, I literally love and hate him all at the same time. I'm like, gosh, you are the worst. <laughs> I know. But please, can you play that song again? <laughs> exactly. Right. It's like, can I just dance those, some more, Trace, please? Dialogue. Uh, no, yeah, those, exactly. I know you want me. I'm not a fan. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely an acquired taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> acquired oh taste, 305. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh Mira. um that's definitely the podcast needs to be called mr worldwide mr worldwide episode. i'm gonna put a <laughs> big old worldwide. picture of mr Pit- worldwide big old picture of pitbull on that on that a big old picture of pitbull that's please right. uh, no problem so perfect <laughs> uh chris you got anything else no that's it eduardo what's going on at the youtube channel doc all right we've got up uh some assassin's creed chronicles india parts 10 through 12 went up this week nice uh yeah as Chris Who did that? I'm I don't know. Kidding. Some cool guy. <laughs> some cool guy. Some guy not frustrated with the guy. <laughs> no, someone much cooler than me. <laughs> I hear he's German, at least for a while. That's yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. For a couple days. Uh, as Chris mentioned, he put up uh, the first four parts of Doom. Uh, mm-hmm. Gabe, you threw up Uncharted 4 parts 6 through 15. Oh, yeah. Well done, and man. Then, uh, last night, uh, the, the first three parts of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles went up. I got to see some of that. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait to see that. Uh, Looking at our top 10, combining watch time and views for the week of May 16th through the 22nd. Number 10, the Gear VR on a plane. Yeah. Oh, that's hanging in there. Number nine, this war of mine, the little ones, day five. What? (laughs) Weird. That game's not going away, man. It really isn't. I don't know what's going on. Number eight, this war of mine, the little ones, day three. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be one person watching it over and over again. <laughs> it's got to be. Just got them on loop. It's my mom. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, it's your mom. <laughs> so proud of you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping them alive. That's right. <laughs> Number seven, Lego Dimensions, part 24, Digital Overlord. 
Number, nice. number six, Rise of the Tomb Raider Part 38, Point of No Return. Nice. Interesting. Number five, Rise it's of... It's always interesting for me to hear like a really deep one, like 38. That's crazy. Yeah, and I use I usually go and look, and it's usually some sort of puzzle of some sort, or uh, just a yeah, really difficult oh, boss yeah. or something. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number five, Rise of the Tomb Raider 36, Gatecrasher. Number four, Picking Up Uncharted 4. Yay! Mm. We dropped a little. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we dropped you need a little. a sequel. <laughs> Number three, Ori in the Blind Forest, part 14, Thornfelt. What? Nice. <laughs> wow. Number two, This War of Mine, the Little Ones, the first day. <laughs> no <laughs> way! <laughs> You've got three This War of Mine up this week. It's, gonna, it's making that game sound way more interesting than it is. <laughs> And number one, Lego Dimensions Part 36, Bane. Nice. Oh, that one's been on there before. Yeah. Right? Bane, yeah. yeah. Try to figure out how to beat that guy, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, Chris, I think you've got the questions. Because, I mean, like we said, until literally right five minutes before we did this podcast, I wasn't going to be on it. And uh, the Lord was good and had these guys awake already. Woke them up from their slumber. That's right. <laughs> And uh, and so I don't even have a computer out. I'm recording straight to my task cam. Uh, nice. The internet here in the hotel is not great. And we're we're officially already checked out of our room. So I tried to get on the internet with my computer. And it was like, you, you're not a guest here anymore. <laughs> and so <laughs> Be gone please leave, you. sir. Please <laughs> leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so I, I don't have any questions of the week pulled up or anything. So, Chris, you said you got it pulled up. I do. <laughs> you should totally just do your normal intro and I'll just fill in the gaps. <laughs> that sounds good. So every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. Last week we asked you guys. Summer is coming up. What are your favorite things to do during the summertime? So starting over on the forums, we've got Haley Miller. She said, stay inside and play video games. Honestly, yeah. though, being able to go swimming and wear dresses constantly is pretty great. That's my girl. Way to go, Haley. There you go. Staying on the forums, nice. we got Josh Stapleton. He said, as a kid, summer vacations consisted of family, uh, visiting family in Utah or India. Oh, or wow. Indiana, excuse me. I was Indiana. Like, Indiana. Oh. Excuse me, excuse me. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, man, you got an That's awesome cool. family all over the place. Polar opposites right there. <laughs> <laughs> or India. Yeah, or India. <laughs> you know, Utah, India. Exactly, right? We got street team in, the, in India now, it's, baby. It's like you go from all white people to all brown people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, MTTC totally Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> it's worldwide. MTTC Worldwide. Worldwide <laughs> street team. Worldwide street team. Worldwide. <laughs> oh my That's gosh. So great. Yeah, please get the billion people in India to listen <laughs> right? to, to the game. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, but to finish out, it says, shoot. but I loved when we would go to Six Flags Great America and ride the roller coasters until we were dizzy. As an adult, I love going to Disneyland or World, hiking through national parks in southern Utah, or going back to Chicago to relax. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Right. Continuing on, Tigsta on the forums as a kid. Just going to the neighborhood pool. Now that I have kids, pool in the afternoon and evening, sitting on the deck, drinking lemonade or an adult beverage with friends and cooking out. Going to movies as well. There you go. That sounds great. Nice. Moving over to Facebook, we've got Jeff Swan said, I look outside, see the bright sun, the crisp grass, hear the birds chirping. And then I shut it all the windows so I can play video games. <laughs> I love Jeff, man. Love it. Yeah, That's baby. what I'm talking about, boy. That's great. <laughs> Moving, on. Moving on. Over to Twitter, we have Logan Sharp at Logan R. Sharp. Says it usually involves hanging out with students, making sure that they don't die at summer camp. Oh, good. Yeah, there you <laughs> nice. go. That's good. Uh, Aaron Bonner at Takano Rosen. Takano Rosen. Takano Rosen. Rosen. Techno or... Takano Rosen, yeah. Deca- Techno Rosen. Techno. Exactly. Yeah, that's how it, that's how it was in my head anyways. Uh, I like to, Mr. Worldwide. I like to go <laughs> through the huge backlog of games that I didn't have the time because I was because of two jobs, classes during the semester. Nice. Mr. Mo, Coach Mo says, uh, I like to try something new every summer. Last year it was fly fishing. This year it's going to be 3DS games or rock climbing. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, they go, Another opposite. They go perfectly yeah. together, don't they? 
<laughs> yeah. It's opposite the track right. this week. Right. And then Mr. Ian Corey Drake at iDrake76. I like to stay inside out of the 100 plus degree weather. Yes, sir. Mm. I, I amen to that. Yeah, when it's it's hot like that, it's like there's just no point in going out. And there we go. Nice. Right. Thank you guys so much for answering our questions. Well, you know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. You can always check out the website, Married to the Games.com. Come check out the forums. We chatting over there. It's a good time. As Ed mentioned, YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. And I got to be up out of here. So I cannot wait to hear. I heard your phone blowing up. I'm like, oh, he's got to go. It's, it's five o'clock. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> Poor guy. Man, Gabe, thank you so much for, yeah. for putting awesome. it all together. Thank you guys for being here. I can't believe it, man. And I'm, I'm glad I got to be a part of the show in Germany. I'm so glad it worked out. It feels awesome. So I'll leave you with this. Let's get into some questions. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited he was able to do that. I know, right? I could not believe, like, it was in, as soon as he he said something on uh, Google Chat, like, all three of us were like, I'm up. <laughs> right? I know. I think, Ed, no, I, I think I responded first. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure the other guys are asleep. And then, Ed, you popped right up. And then, Chris, right. you popped right up. I'm like, oh, it's so cool. we're all awake at 4 o'clock in the morning. What is going on? I did not on? expect that. No, I did not expect that at all. For me, it was a bit random because my phone, because again, usually I am asleep. It was still on the do not disturb mode. So I just happened to look down and see. Oh, I was right. actually up. A, I could have responded right away. Oh, it's, that's awesome. I'm so glad it worked out. That's great. That's very Although, cool. We, we got to knock this out real quick just to make sure we don't get oops. But uh, rate us on iTunes so that one day we can all be worldwide. Yeah. Nice. Way to nice. go, buddy. Way to stay on top of it. Mr. <laughs> worldwide. Anything. I, like, no. I know, right? That's incredible. Um, okay, well, let's get into some questions, shall we? Uh, on Facebook, we've got Josh Stapleton. Some wives like gaming, some tolerate it, and many don't understand why we love gaming so much. What is your wife's hobby that doesn't appeal to you, and what is one you find interesting? Mr. McCracken. Uh, this is probably going to be a similar answer to a lot of people, but my, one of my wife's hobbies that does not appeal to me at all is shopping. Yay. <laughs> she mm-hmm. likes to, when we go to Target, I'm like, okay, what's our list say? Bam, 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 bam. All right, I'm ready to go, babe. And she's like, yep. let's go look at this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's your thing. Let's go do it. And I just kind of walk along. I would be ready to be up out, but she likes to shop around. That's exactly how it goes, man. Yeah. That is exactly how it goes. Mr. Placencia, how about you? Uh, Sarah is a, is a big nail painter, and she <laughs> has a big tub of. <laughs> nail polish that she likes to choose from every once what in a while. What color are you wearing this weekend? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm not really into it. Yep. <laughs> uh, nor, nor do you have to be. I think right. that's not that's not a requirement. Except for the one black pinky nail. You oh, know, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Hard edge. Yeah, of course. The only one you use to pick your nose so that everybody that's sees right. it. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> that's thugging it out right there. That's amazing. Right? How about you, Router? Uh, well, which one do you find interesting? Yeah, did... Chris, did you say which one you actually found? What hobby of hers you did find interesting? Uh, no, I didn't. The the one that she does, she's really good at. Uh, she doesn't do as much anymore, but kind of like uh, scrapbooking and making yep. little mem- mm. memory boxes, kind of thing. Yep, yep. She's really good at that, and I'm interested. I liked it. I think it's really cool. I don't want to do it myself. No, of course not. I know. I know. That's <laughs> right. I would screw that all up. But it's it's cool to see what she does because she's so good at laying the pictures out and putting them all together really nice. Yeah. So I really like seeing the outcome. I cannot cut a straight line with scissors to save my life. <laughs> I never, I oh never could. Gosh. I don't know why I can never like you asked me to like, if you were to draw like a line down the middle of a piece of paper, it would be all over the place. <laughs> Even with a line. Even I know, with a line, right? like, I, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot. I mean, I would have to really concentrate to do it. Cause I'm just too impatient. I'm like, <laughs> and it's, <laughs> That's yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. There you have it. Wow. Um, nice. And then, uh, so Ed, what is, uh, Sarah, what was one thing that you find interesting with Sarah? You know what? She's really lately gotten into, um, personal development just because nice. she coaches so many yeah. people. And it's just been really interesting to hear her talk to other people and how to work with different types of people and encourage them. It's been really cool to just overhear and, and, uh, and hear how she does that. It's been a, a, a learning experience for sure. Yeah. 
That's great. That's great. Yeah, I'm uh, Chris. I'm with you uh, shopping. I just I can't stand it. But I do have a way out because when Piper goes shopping with us, oh. uh, I just run. I run around with her in the mall. So like we go to the playground like we <laughs> will just nice. I just, I'm a kid with her anyway it's so much fun so we'll go to those little photo booths and we'll just do goofy pictures together and then we <laughs> right. give them to mommy be like hey look what you missed from shopping the whole time so right. it's kind of great for me it's kind of a guilt trip that i like to put on her like you know you were shop <laughs> you were shopping and i was sitting here making memories with my daughter but that's beside the point but that's <laughs> it's harsh it's no it's one good way to get out of there quicker though no it's not, awesome. I, I never do that i don't throw anything like that in her face but it, it's we have so much fun so like we usually just walk around the mall which is great and that's um, cool being that she has a stationery and gift store i am uh it's not necessarily interesting, but one thing I'm getting very, very good at is gift wrap. I can gift wrap like a, like a beast. Is that now. right? Yeah, man. I am horrible at wrapping gifts. Stacy, that's another thing Stacy's great at. I can't yeah. do it at all. I use, I use the double-sided tape so you don't even see the oh, tape. Oh, right. Fold, it, fold the edges all nice because, uh, yeah, she taught me well on that. So I, I, it's, and it's fun. I, enjoy, I don't mind it. Do you have to have Lauren cut the paper for you first, though? <laughs> that one's easy because you could just kind of cut, and if you screw it up, you always, you always kind of over. You, you know how to hide it. Cut any, yeah, I can hide it very nicely. <laughs> Every gift that I get, it's going in a bag. It doesn't matter. It's like, oh, yep. we, we bought a bicycle nice. for our nephew. Do we have a bag yep. that can fit in? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't want to exactly. wrap it. Yep, no wrapping there. Just put a bow on it, and you're done. Yep. There you go. Thanks, Josh, for the question. Uh, moving on, Brett T. Bodden. I noticed that the title of last week's episode came as a result of discussing uh, at Bad Gamer Officia's question. Hmm. So, does he get a platinum trophy for that? Yes, in fact, he does. Yes, he does. Um, hmm. uh, I think that would be. Uh, Lauren got her platinum trophy for the red wine and cauliflower one. So, yes, he <laughs> right. does get a platinum trophy if it's mentioned and we do it on that same. Uh, during the same episode, then it's a platinum trophy. If the podcast yeah. were a PlayStation game, what trophies could hosts earn and what trophies could listeners earn? And would they be bronze, silver or gold? Ooh, that's a wow. good question. You know what? I, I say if you don't get an oops, you get maybe a bronze. Yep, I agree. That's a good <laughs> one. You definitely get a bronze just for starting to listen to the podcast. Once you start listening, bram. Bronze trophy. Oh, I like that. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. Good. Uh, yeah, what else? So for listeners, they would earn, I mean, they would earn a silver trophy probably if they oopsed us. Yeah. Um, no, that's got to be a bronze. Bronze, that's, okay. That's too easy. That's they don't have common. nothing on their part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Considering who we are, that's pretty easy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely easy. If your answer or question gets read, that could be a silver trophy. There you go. Okay. Oh, nice. I like that. I like that. If you go back and listen to the episodes and keep track of who has how many trophies, that's a platinum. Oh, wow. There you go. Ooh, wow. So start yeah. that thread on the forum. <laughs> well, and I, w I would also think that listening to all of our episodes would be a platinum. Yeah, yeah. that's a platinum. Yeah, because yeah, you got you to gotta put in work to get those plats. That's the yeah, way it absolutely. works. Right. Yeah, that's right. Put in work. Is there a trophy for meeting Gabe on the road? Yeah, that's got to be a gold. Because that's like the highest yeah, one you can get besides yeah, the, the that's platinum. Yeah, that's a gold. I like that. Man, yeah, we got meet Dude, we got person. this. We yeah. got this covered. I'm going to start writing, writing this down. down. I'm going to yeah. see how many people can earn it. <laughs> what do you get that's for right. going to uh, a, a 100 or a 200 that's celebration? A gold. That's got to be a gold. a gold. Yeah, that's got to definitely be a gold. Man, it almost feels like there needs to be something in between gold and platinum because that needs to be a step up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, we'll think it out. Uh, we'll think it out, and we'll let you. Yeah, know. yeah, we'll, we'll you definitely go. get back to you, Brett. Thank you for that, uh, Keyshawn Ramos. Uh, I've got a question that requires context, so story time. The uh -oh. other week, the the other week, y'all were talking about mods and games, which reminded me of the time I got banned from Halo Four for life. I had just gotten wow. done watching an episode of The Walking Dead and wanted to hop on Halo Four to play. When I load up the game, I'm greeted with a notification saying that I had been banned for life. Confused, I reached out to 343 Industries via Twitter, asking why I'm banned, to which they replied, I had had 10 modded screenshots in my file share. If you don't know, in Halo 3 and Reach, the games allowed you to go into the theater mode for campaign. Their successor, Halo 4, didn't have this, which disappointed a lot of fans. Eventually, a theater file uh, surfaces of someone playing the last mission of a campaign, and it's obviously modded since that's not possible. A lot of people downloaded it, including myself, and took a bunch of screenshots shot to which I put in my file share for others to see. So what do you guys think? I know mods on consoles are a big no-no, but was it fair to ban someone for life for using a harmless feature that should have been in the game? Thanks, guys. Keep up the great work. Mm -hmm. Man, that, 
that's some pretty serious context, and that's great that that you spelled it all out for us. Um, I man, I think it's we and we said this before. I think it's one of those things where I don't think you should just boom you you open, you pop open your your Xbox One or your PlayStation and you get a notification that you're banned for life. I think there needs to be of hey, uh, you are flagged to you know dispute this or something you know click here or tweet us at or you know some sort of call to action where you can yeah. at least explain why you have it. So, right. Yeah, in this case, it, it makes it doesn't make any sense to be banned just because you downloaded something that should have been in the game. But that's also subjective because maybe the developers had a reason for not having it on there. So to have somebody say, well, it should have been in the game, isn't not yeah. necessarily an excuse anyway, because that's very subjective and that's up to the, the developers to decide. But there should be, I, I think depending on the offense, there should be at least, hey, we're... We're concerned about this that you have. Explain yourself. And if you don't give a right. good explanation, then I say you're banned. Yeah. So in terms of the specific thing that he was banned for, subjectively speaking, no, I don't feel like that's a big deal. Now, as you were saying before, obviously it's up to the developer. And this is shows that, as he was saying, there's no way to have done this without having a modded file. Now, the fact that it applies only to campaign is why I don't think it's a big deal because you're not hurting anybody else. Right. I have absolutely no problem uh, with Blizzard's, you know, current stance of if you do anything cheating wise, any kind of modification or a mod yep. control or anything, <clears throat> if yeah. they can prove you did something in multiplayer, being banned on the first first offense. Now, I do want there to be some kind of uh, way to appeal because there's got to be times where there's errors. Yeah. No, sure, right. But they have that stuff tracked, man. They've got all that stuff tracked. They could probably go in and see what they modded anyway. Yeah. So I, I would say, you know, definitely. You know, they they will have at least some backing. They just want to hear it from you, I, I would think. Yeah, yeah. I think regardless whether it's a ban on the first offense, ban after 12 attempts, I think you should always have the ability to appeal it. But Ryan. if it's anything nefarious at all in a multiplayer setting, then I th I'm fine. You get banned, it's your own fault. You shouldn't have been screwing around. Exactly. This particular situation seems a little shady to me, but yep. I mean, again, it's, I guess it's up to the developer. Yeah, yeah I mean... It, it, it seems kind of weird. It, it's a, it seems like a harsh offense to all of a sudden just get without any kind of a heads up or a warning, but it kind of reminds me of router. What you said when we were talking about the cheating in the uh, last episode or a couple episodes ago, when, you know, you agree to play the game by their rules, they yep. made the game. And, you know, if you mess around with stuff, you kind of run that risk and yeah, it's, it, but yeah, it is a super harsh. Yeah. Punishment there's, for sure. there's a reason why developers have a legal team anyway, but, um, I, you know, Keyshawn, I want to know exactly, like, did you appeal? Did Are you still banned for life, or did that get reversed at times? So definitely um, hit us up with the follow-up, because I'm, I'm curious, because yeah. he didn't mention whether or not uh, that was resolved or if uh, if 343 did anything about that. So I'm curious if, honestly, if anything happened. Honestly, to me, the, the ban that he got in particular, it almost smacks of 343 just being a little bit butthurt. It's almost like... They yeah. did this thing. People got mad, told them that they didn't like that this wasn't in it. And then when they saw people doing it anyways, they're like, man, yeah, it, it, it's one <laughs> right. of the things, one of the reasons I, I kind of drifted away from destiny because there were things that you could do in the single player or no, it's not really single player, but in stuff that wasn't affecting other people. And they're like, Oh, well that's how we're going to change this and change that. Cause that's not how we envision you playing. It's like, it doesn't matter what you envision. Yeah. I'm, I mean, if as long yeah. as I'm not earning yeah. something that, in a nefarious way, it's not in PVP or I'm not like earning some trophy nefariously. If I'm just like blasting these NPCs over and over and over because I have unlimited right. rockets or something, I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's just like, I think you should let, you should make your game, let people play it how they enjoy it. And as long as it's not affecting other people, you should be fine with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I think like having, you said like having unlimited like rock RPG or whatever in any type of a battle mode against somebody else that's yeah that's yeah that's cheating. no good yeah that's, you can't no, that's that. no good yeah. but if you're just if you're doing it within the a, a solo campaign or whatever i don't see a problem with it but that right. opens up the doors though and that, i think that's why they do have to shut it down because yeah. if well he's doing it over here well that's great but that's not like then you're getting right. into the nitty-gritty specifics well he's not in pvp uh but it, that doesn't matter. You know, the, a mod's, yeah. the mod's the mod. It's been modded, and, and it, there is an advantage any which yeah. way you slice it. So, mm. yeah, I get yeah. it. I, I, I understand it kind of both ways. I think there yeah, needs, exactly. it's kind of like going to, 
to court or something like that. You kind of have to prove it to, you know, prove it to them that what you did or what you didn't do was, you know, still in the, in the best interest of wanting to play the game and playing it fairly. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely love a follow up though to get more information. Yeah, Keyshawn, That'd definitely awesome. hit us up with that. I'd, I'd love we'll we'll get that up on next week's show too. Uh, moving on to Twitter at Jamin Bissett. Confession time. Have you ever mm. ditched school, work, responsibilities just to play more of a game you were into? Of course. Yes. Who has not <laughs> Why done wouldn't that? we? Of course we have, man. <laughs> I was going to say no until he got to responsibilities, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah definitely. No, no, of course, man. <laughs> I've been on a conference call and played a game at the same time <laughs> on mute. I was like, I got to finish this level or whatever it was. And I don't speak much on any of these conference calls. It's really more just to hear what the marketing teams are doing. And so I'm just sitting there. Play- I can't remember what game it was, but it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Now I have not done that. Cause as I demonstrated earlier, I cannot do something <laughs> <laughs> pay attention to what's going on in my ears. So yeah, I yeah. don't do that, <laughs> but yes, I've absolutely started feeling ill or whatever so i could stay home and play a game nice nice that's awesome um at arctic warlocks it's a last minute question as i'm going to bed right now lucky uh which (laughs) which direction does your bed face my feet are pointing south south here as well i'm my feet point south really i think mine point north i am pointing west wait am i let me see. Hang on. Yeah. I'm Actually, west. you're you're wrong. I'd have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to call you. Uh, make you're it wrong. Right. MTTG oops. <laughs> right. No, that's awesome. Oh, that'd be creepy if somebody oops. Actually, Rowdy, your bed faces <laughs> this way, and then you're know, right? on your nightstand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. We are bugged. Time to change I'm, houses. I'm moving. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, at Grant Itis, Grant Gustafson, what is the most amount of times you have replayed a game, and what game? Wow. Hmm. I've only re- replayed one game, uh, and that was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, actually. I felt like playing that again, uh, and I did. It was great. I don't really replay games very often. I, I tend yep. to like to move forward majority of the time. Yeah. I don't really yep. go backwards very much. Um, probably the game off the top of my head that I've played the most is my number one favorite game, and that's Metal Gear Solid, the original one. I've probably no. played it four, maybe five times since oh, wow. you know, when it first came out all the way up until now. So not a lot. Like most yeah. people like their favorite game. They probably played, you know, hundreds of times or something ridiculous, but about probably four or five times for me. Yeah, I probably it's probably Sonic for me. I played that quite a few times. Awesome. So, yeah. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, it's I think it's weird. Like I'm always like moving forward what's the next one what's the next one what's yeah. the next one but dude i yeah, would me too i would play uncharted 4 again in a heartbeat yeah, yeah absolutely I, I plan to play uncharted 4 again it may not be till later this year or maybe next year but i will play it at least one more it, time. yeah if I, mm. I have a feeling like in the fall besides dishonored 2 there might be some a little bit of a lull for me because a lot of it's are shooters which i don't play a whole lot of and assassin's creed right. isn't coming out so I may come back to another one, but I do want to, you know, keep up with my resolution of playing a few more indie games. I still have Firewatch to play too, which I'm thrilled, oh, nice. you, pl- which I'm thrilled you played, and yeah. uh, and just play a few other games too. Some are digital too, Chris. You'd be proud of me. Nice. <laughs> so, hey Ed, uh, speaking of Firewatch, did, did it like run well on the? Did you play on Xbox or or no? That's a that's a PS4 exclusive right now, right? Yeah, I um, yeah, it's PS4 and. PC? Every time, uh, I'm sorry. It's PS4 and PC, right? Is I'm not sure. Okay, I think I think so, but I'm not certain. Um, you know, it would it would glitch for me right before I got like a call on the radio, so I always knew when a call was about to come through because it would like freeze for a split second. Okay. Oh, because weird. I know when I played it was right at launch, and it had a lot of not I wouldn't say a lot, but there was definitely some pop in issues, and it did have a lot more of the freezing, way more frequently than just the radio. And then okay, they, right. after I finished it, they put out a patch. Yeah. They said this should really oh, okay. fix a lot of that stuff, but I hadn't, I didn't play it again. So I was just curious. Yeah. All right, cool. That's very cool. Uh, at that Chalfy, what's your oldest favorite t-shirt? You know, the one your wife says, why do you still have that <laughs> photo evidence, wow. photo evidence required? That's hilarious. I'll, I'm going to speak for Gabe. He always wears that yellow Empire Strikes Back t-shirt. I don't know if you've ever seen it. But <laughs> yeah, Jen, awesome. Jenny and I talk about it all the time. I'm like, how's that t-shirt coming? He's like, oh, he bought two more. 
<laughs> he, uh, that's hilarious. I think he wears he wears that on stage too, so he has a few of them. But I, I, I always okay, right? I always see him in that, which is awesome. Um, that's funny for me. I I love my Married to the Games T-shirt, and nice. I'll wear it, I'll wear it uh, around too. So was the question, what's our oldest? What's your oldest favorite t-shirt? Oldest favorite t-shirt. I have, I don't wear it anymore, but I know I still have it um, somewhere in my closet. Uh, I have a Metallica t-shirt that I bought oh, when I was in oh, middle wow. school. Oh, and it, was when they were doing, it was when they were doing their, now I didn't go to the show, but it, the t-shirt came out around the time that they were doing the, uh, the stadium tours with uh, Guns N' Roses. Oh yes, sir. Wow. I bought it, and it's got it's got tour dates on the back, I believe. But again, wow. I didn't go to the show. I got it at a like a record store oh, back that's when awesome. those things existed. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's like it's real faded. I know it's got a couple holes in it, but I never got rid of it because it was the first Metallica shirt, and I have a yeah, lot man. actually in my closet. Uh, but it was the first one I ever got, and I wanted to make sure I kept it. Nice. That's awesome. What about you, Ed? I've got a. I've got a t-shirt from uh, my dad coaches a uh, boxing club and it's a t-shirt from the boxing club that I've had for oh, cool. quite a while now that, uh, that I, I like to wear. It's nice and worn in and comfortable and it's a good I shirt. Know I didn't know your dad did that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. He, he grew up a boxer and uh, kind of stayed, uh, stayed in the club. It's the same club he grew up fighting in that he now is the, the, oh, the head wow. coach. That's so cool. Yeah. Mental, mental note, do not cross Ed in a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Oh, I do have a, uh, I, I, I will say one of my, the t-shirts that I will, I will forever keep is I, ha- I got a shirt uh, since my father and brother-in-law were in the fire department. There was a bunch of shirts that were going around around 9-11. Oh, nice. And so it oh, has, wow. the shirt has uh, all the patches of police and fire for New York. And on the back, it says, never forget. And it has oh, the, wow. the silhouette of the Twin Towers. And I actually wear it every 9-11 if I can. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, I, it's it's definitely, that's that's one that's close to the heart. It's very cool. I don't really have one that, that Sarah wishes I didn't, I wouldn't wear. Uh, do you guys have one that your, your wives aren't fans of? I, I just purchased quite a few like Star Wars themed t shirts. I got <laughs> I got um Piper a, a really cute little BB eight uh t shirt. Oh, I wanna see a picture of that. She, yeah, I'll I'll take a picture of it. Of course she got chocolate milk all over it like oh. five minutes <laughs> five minutes in. But right. um but it's really cute. It's got like in it's it's got uh him and then it has hearts on it instead of the little orange circles. And he's oh, he's cool. carrying a little heart balloon. It's supposed to be more of like a Valentine's T-shirt, but it's pink, uh-huh. and she loved right. it. And so I got a, a similar, not a similar pink shirt, but I got a BB-8 outline shirt. It's just it's blue, and it just has the silhouette of BB-8 on it. So we oh, both nice. we both wore it on the same day. And Lauren's like, really? And I said, yes. <laughs> no, she she was actually awesome. she thought it was really cool. Um, that's awesome. I love T-shirts. And it's yeah, like yeah. prime t-shirt weather now, so it's perfect. Mm-hmm. I'm always wearing a t-shirt. Rarely yeah. do I have a collar. Yeah. yeah. I do wear a lot of collars, though, just because I feel more special in them. But, like, come home and then <laughs> throw on a t-shirt, and then on weekends I'm t-shirting it up. It's awesome. Um, at Silent Fury 007, Brian Armstrong, oh my god, hashtag Overwatch, am I right? Seriously, are you guys playing? Yeah. Of course you are. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my god! I know, right? Uh, I ah, I'm not playing it. I don't. Yeah, I'm not either. Chris is playing for me. Yeah, we're living. We're living vicar. We're playing vicariously through Chris. That's right. And just for those like in the community, like I'm playing on PS4. That's where I have it. So I do plan at some point to set up like maybe a game night and reach out to the community and say, hey, let's nice. Let's get some matches going because it's six v six. So at least five other people besides me. That's cool. And it's a lot because. Overwatch is very much, I can have fun playing solo, but it's definitely if the, if you really want to be serious about it and win the matches, it's best to be in a full team or as full a team as mm. possible because, yeah. because the heroes are so different and they can all complement and work with each other. Like it's good to have one of every class. And when you can coordinate and have a game plan, it's a lot of fun. I've played with at the most, I've played with three people. So we didn't even have a full team, but just us coordinating was a lot of fun and trying to get things going. So, oh, that's great. But, could you have 12 people play and, and be able to play against who you know, or is that random? They do. They do. Well, it, it is random. They do have custom game modes that you can create. I'm not sure. Okay. I haven't messed around with it, so I'm not sure if you can set something up and have a 6v6 of all in the same party. Because I know right. Xbox goes to, I think, 16 players are in a party now, or maybe it's 12. 
And I think PlayStation implemented that as well, or that's coming in the next firmware update. So at some mm. point that might be something we can explore. Cause I haven't messed around with the custom game modes yet. Okay. That'd actually be a lot of fun to have like 12 people from the community. All right. And they're playing together. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look into that. That's really cool. All right. Final question at NBC for Christ, Mike BC. What game can transcend time? Uh, let me try that again. <laughs> what game? Almost, almost made it. Almost made it. Uh, what game can transcend time that you can always go back to and it never gets old? Hmm. Hmm. For me, I think it's uh, Trials Fusion or the, any of the Trials Evolution oh, nice. or the Trials games. I just I can always grab that and play for two minutes or an hour. It's a good game. Uh, if he says never gets old and means like I never stop enjoying it, then that game I would say is the original Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. But I would not mm. say that that game does not feel old because it does. And there's a reason that I don't recommend <laughs> oh, people sure. like, Oh, you need to go back and play. It's like, no. And people could just coming in with no context would probably not. I mean, they can maybe appreciate the story, but the gameplay yeah, right. is way different than today. Oh, uh, right. So yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it to new people, but I definitely go back and can still enjoy that game when I play it. Yeah. I guarantee you Gabe probably says final fantasy seven. Oh, right. I can almost guarantee it, and he'll have to fact check that for me, but I'm sure that's true. Uh, for me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of more of the newbie gamer along with Ed, uh, but I, I still go back to thinking about, I think about The Last of Us quite a bit. Nice. A lot because of how, uh, I mean, how great it is. And it's one of those games where it's not necessarily a dated game. Like, it can, like mm -hmm. it's, it's a separate world, so like the the time isn't really an issue or the yeah. the year isn't an issue or anything like that and plus i think that kind of game is a game that could get people into gaming so i'm always yeah. a, i'm always a big proponent of these are kind of universal games that are, are like kind of umbrella type games that all types of gamers will play and mm -hmm. you know it can really get new, uh, new people into games you know if i saw and, you know, if I wasn't a gamer before and I played The Last of Us, I guarantee you I'd be a gamer now. That's for sure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a great answer. I always go back to The Last of Us, man. I really should should pick up the the PS4 version of it and, and probably oh, at some yeah, point you should. play it again Absolutely. just because I haven't I, I've forgotten so many parts of it. But I always mm -hmm. I will always remember that game. It's just so good. That's awesome. That's it for the questions. Chris, do you actually have a question for the week for everybody? I do have a question of the week. So the question of the week is what game have you put the most hours into and how many hours as a bonus question, how many hours have you put in? If you know that answer, wow. I reached out to Gabe and he told me that his game that he's put the most hours into his persona four. Yes. And he said hmm. it was 100. Wow. Wow. Mr. Robert. Uh, I, uh, it's the Witcher three. I spent probably two months on that game, but I'm a little, I was a little confused cause they tracked the, they have like a tracker on there, but there's no way it could be right because it said like 250 hours. And I was like, what? There's, <laughs> I don't think they were right. Ah, maybe, I don't know, but, um, I'll have to go back and double check, uh, when I get a chance. But I know it was definitely the Witcher three. Cause I played the mess out of that game. That was basically my summer, my summer game, I just played that and just kept playing it and lo just loved it. It's so much fun. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Did you ever play that game and then like just close out in rest mode to where it stayed logged in? Oh, and then absolutely. I did it every, every morning. I'd pop it back in. And then as soon as I hit that, that PlayStation button on the controller, went down to Witcher, whoop, popped right back up to where I was. Okay, so that could potentially be the discrepancy because I know at least early on for some games, I think a you're lot of them right. corrected it where yes. rest mode, it would still oh, count the timer. Right. You nice. are, yeah, so you're right. Potentially, so, if you feel like that's wrong, that might be the reason that's, why. That I, think you're at, I think you absolutely nailed it, actually, because I remember that that, that update did come up, too, I think, in because uh, wasn't that a Sony thing, too, or was that just, just for that game? I thought it was a Sony thing where rest mode did mess up some of the timing or the track, yeah. the timing of the or the tracking of your hours of gameplay. Yeah. Well, I Sony came out with rest mode where you're, uh, I forget what it's called. The actual act of putting your game in that. Yeah. No, that, yeah. That's rest but mode. That, that, uh, 
Sony brought that out later. So they had a rest mode, but the ability to put your game in stasis was something yeah. that came out later. And yeah. I think mm-hmm. a lot of games had to account for that after the firmware patch came out. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Most games nowadays that come out, I think that they account for that, but yep. I, it may still be an issue with some of them. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's really good point because I was like, there's no way that I either. The, I'm like, wait, do I have a life? Like what's going on? Like <laughs> that I put that much. I, I, yeah, I think that's it, man. That's gotta be it. Yeah. I, there's no way I played that. I know I played a lot. I mean, Skyrim for me, I estimate was about 90 hours. I, I was probably well into a, probably a, a 115, 120 hours. Wow. Into, into the Witcher. I, I put my heart and soul into that game. I was wow. fine with it too. Not a problem. I would say for me, it's probably Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh, we would play the mess out of that. And then for the last uh, eight years, Sarah and I have had people over once a week to watch TV and play games. And probably for four years, we would put in uh, an hour or two of Mario Kart uh, once a week. And uh, so, yeah, it was, that was a great game, man. Awesome. Yeah, that is a fun game. Fun, fun game. That was called, uh, that feature is called Suspend and Resume. That's what I was trying to think of. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah, and it, 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 I think Xbox launched with that feature, and PlayStation it came a lot later. It was one of the things that said, oh, we're going to have this, and it took it a lot longer before it actually showed up. Okay. Wow. So, <laughs> I almost hate saying this. I am going to put every one of you to shame Whoa! in the game that I played the most hours to, and not e- it's not even close. You guys are like peons compared to me. Nice. <laughs> Again, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> but, actually don't admit. be embarrassed. No, it's but all good. But I know good. there's a lot of other people out there in the world, at least, <laughs> maybe not in our community, that did the same thing. <laughs> so the game that I put the most hours into is Destiny. Really? Oh, and, nice. Yep, I played it. I played the Alpha, which... The alpha and the beta, those times didn't factor in. They didn't keep track of those. But I played that game from the alpha all the way until, like, I'd say December or January is when I kind of dropped off of Destiny of last year. Okay. Uh, And there are lots of different apps or websites and stuff where you can go in, you can check, you know, your stats for your characters and all this kind of that. Mm -hmm. And one of the ones that they, most of the sites will stack is how long you've played, how many hours and everything for each character. Cause you can have multiple characters up to three. And I had one of every class and I played a lot of them. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So if you add it all up in the times, this is going to be great. (laughs) If you add up all the times I have put in around 13, Hundred hours. What? Wow, dude. Well so done. So one thousand three hundred and some odd hours. What? That's- now there are ones that can track it to where it splits out between like time spent, you know, inside of menus or inside Holy the hub God. world and actual wow. action doing missions. Yeah, but even, I was going to say even like, doing still. missions. I'm over a thousand. That's incredible. Wow. Well played, sir. But uh, yeah, man, dude. you played you played the mess out of that. Does that include oh Taken King? Because you played Taken King. Yeah, that King includes too, Taken King. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, wow. dude, that's over a, a year and a half, maybe almost and that, two year span. So, yes. that's totally fine. That works for and me. Back then, Stacy was traveling even more than she does now. So, I definitely played oh, other right. games, but still, the vast majority of my time playing was. Is it Destiny. one of those things where you would play like an hour of Destiny and then go on to another game? And then, like, like that was no. kind of like your, your appetizer before you go to another another game or did you just play it straight up all the time? Well, I just played it straight up all the time. And there was never so only awesome. an hour. There was never only an hour of destiny. If I didn't have at least wow. two, I wasn't playing. And I actually, <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, <laughs> if you remember this Ed, but there was one time I was playing and I was in a party. Cause usually I would go into a party in case any of my friends jumped in and Gabe uh-huh. jumps in there. And he's like, Hey, Ed's over at my house. I was like, Oh, Hey, how's it going? He goes, Hey, what are you doing, man? And I go, Oh, he just, Grinding in Destiny. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And wow. I was just by myself, just, you know, doing whatever, doing missions, earning stuff to buy things in game or whatever I was doing at the moment. I don't even remember. <laughs> that is <laughs> awesome. I was playing Destiny. Did you spend a lot of time wow. in like the marketplace, like upgrading and just, you know, I'm sure you took your time trying to get your weapons right and getting all the, the upgrades. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the great things about Destiny is that it was a ton of fun to play with people. And there were a lot of different options of things to play with people. Yeah. But for me in particular, There was also a ton to do solo because you would get this new weapon and then you would want to upgrade it. And to upgrade it, not only did you have to put in the time to unlock things, but you also had to 
earn materials to then update yep. it later. So there's yep. always mm-hmm. a carrot at the end of the stick for me. Always. Wow. Yeah, I love those kind of games that do that. That's what Witcher did for me too. It's like side mission here, you can get this and like I'm hunting yeah. for this and yeah. Right. Okay. Same thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, that's dude. A, that's a good question. I'm looking forward to hearing what uh what everybody else has. Yeah, I don't. I, no. I might have everybody in our community beat. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Somebody out there wow. put me to shame. Somebody yeah, please you do never, it. <laughs> you never know. There's no shame in gaming, baby. There's no shame in gaming. I just love how recent the game is. Like it's not a game that came out seven yeah. years ago and you got thirteen hundred hours in. Like that's not that old of a game. <laughs> I know. There, there is no other game. Even though I've played games for a long time, there's not any other game that I can think of that I put anywhere close to that amount of hours into. Wow. Wow. If you yeah. wouldn't have looked it up, what would you have guessed it would have been? Like, what did it feel like to you? I, I would have guessed somewhere around a thousand, maybe like is that right? Nah, just so because were, yeah. I, yeah. I knew how much ballpark. I played. It wasn't it wasn't like I feel like, oh, my gosh, I slogged for X amount of hours, but I know how much I played it. So I was like, it's got to be up there. That's so you great. weren't shocked when you saw the number. Uh, well, I was a little bit because I, I was just one of those like, oh, yeah, a thousand hours. Ha, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> a little bit. That's awesome. Oh, good gravy. No, oh, man, that's 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 awesome, though, man. When when you don't really care anymore and you're just like, I'm just having too much fun with it. You know, that's a game that's for life. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But those are those are the best kind of games. Right. Well, so make sure that you answer answer yes. use the hashtag answer MTTG. Tell us how many hours you put in and what game it was. Yeah, yeah. please do. I can't wait. This is going to be great. I know, right? Well, there it is, boys. 193, <clears throat> not four, <laughs> is in the books. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And uh, thanks to everyone for uh, sending in your questions. And mm-hmm. a big thank you for Gabe. I'm so glad he was able to jump on there, Definitely. too. Yeah, that was totally awesome. That was really, really cool. I am Tim Router. Over there is Chris McCracken. Over there is Mr. Ed Placencia, and we are married to the games, and we are up out this thing. Oh man. That sounded like Pitbull had a playing card in his bicycle wheel. He's like, (laughs) (laughs) that was awesome. Uh, Yeah, you got to change it up every once in a while.